It's hotter than Hades where I live, but these polar playmakers are somehow staying cool. Let's see how SGA and Naz Reed do in real gameplay. Can they keep their cool? We're about to find out. Cue it up. What's up guys, Rising Phoenix One. Hey, this video is presented by the EA Creator Network and a shout out to the EA Community Manager Kits and Jalukia because they're the ones who got us these cards so we could share them with you. All right, all right, it is the Polar Playmakers side promo. This is the Pure Luck side promo. You gotta get Kleber and Nesmith in order to unlock the event to get McConnell and Reed. We get those two you unlock the SGA event, which takes 25,000 points in order to claim Shea Gilgis Alexander in Style Select. And we have unlimited ads, so it should be no problem, unless you get super unlucky, right? So the only cards we're concerned with today are Master 105 overall Naz Reed, and he has a plus three board man boost to position, and then 107 Shea Gilgis Alexander, and he has a plus three, three and D to team, and I love that. I don't know that this is a card that I'm gonna have in the starting lineup, but it's gonna make a really good card on the bench, given the boost, right? I know three and D isn't one of the biggest boosts, but it's still one of my favorite boosts because of the stats it's boosting outside shooting and defense. Let's take a quick look at Naz Reed. Okay, let's go down to strength and we'll include his position boost. So his strength is gonna be 100. His vertical is only gonna be a 90, which is very low. He's 6'9", which is not tall for his center. His rebounding will be 104 and 105. Box out 103 and 104, looks pretty good. Inside offensive game looks good. That dunk looks insane at 106. And his perimeter shooting looks very good too. 82 on ball defense is really low. 85 block is low. I mean, he just doesn't have any defense. He's got a couple high post stats. Uh, but other than that, for Naz, it's uh, hopefully rebounding, inside scoring, and particularly perimeter shooting. Then our Grandmaster, SGA, Shea Gilgis Alexander, with that good boost. Um, you know, I'm not very impressed with his athleticism stats, other than his first step in quickness. The rest is pretty weak for 107, in my unhumble opinion. His inside offensive game looks pretty good. I mean, he's got a big layup, but only a 92 scoring with contact. Then we get to his perimeter shooting and the big weak spot here is his three, a 95, which is less than Naz Reed. And actually for the 23-24 season, Naz had a higher three point percentage than SGA did. But for a 107 shooting guard, this 95-3 is ah, problematic. I mean, what are his primaries? You know, 100, right? Not so great. Um, On-ball defense, though, at 105, looks really good. 99 hands-on perimeter interception look good. He's got really good court vision and triple threat, and that's about it for Shea Gilgis Alexander. All right, now I have played several showdowns with these guys, so why don't we just build a T here. Naz will get some boards. Uh, he's good going inside. He has some degree of a dunk package, and he is darn near a bucket from the perimeter. But you're about to see in a minute, we're playing with our biggest three-point boost so far this season. And the reason we need it isn't because of Naz. The reason we need it is because of Shea. And my experience with Shea is that his shooting is boy, uh, inconsistent. It's inconsistent. If you have this card, maybe your experience has been very different, but shooting from beyond the arc, dropping bombs, yeah, I mean, he can hit them. He can hit them, but then he can miss two in a row and miss them bad. So he has been inconsistent for me. But again, that doesn't make a huge difference to me. I mean, if you look at some of the shooting guards that we have, 107 Zach, 
I mean, if I didn't have Luca and I had Zach and Shea, I would definitely start Zach and put Shea on the bench. The other thing that's valuable here is that it's a good enough boost and a high enough overall that you can put Shea on the bench and start Luca uh, without worrying about dropping down in overall in most instances. For today though, these cards are not going to be riding the bench. They're going to be in our starting lineup. Let's take a look at it. So we've got uh, 106 Luca at point guard, 107 KD at small forward, 106 Giannis at power forward, and then 105 Reed boosted all the way to a 110. Let's look at the boosted team and you'll see what we're talking about. Yeah, I know, plus 21 to outside shooting is insane. Plus 12 to athleticism, three to rebounding, 15 to inside scoring, 21 to outside shooting, eight to D, six to playmaking, nothing to the post. And then Naz is gonna look a little bit better here, plus 15 to athleticism, and then plus six to the rebounding stats. All right, let's jump into showdown. We're gonna to run to play on offense only with SGA and Naz. Let's get it. Oh shoot, 113 Simmons from season four. Arena Master with Curry stats. We'll see how Luca can do against him. They have some other good looking cards in there, so this should be a fairly good matchup, we'll see. All right, come on, Shea, hit this first shot. Pop it. There we go, nothing but net. That looked good, that looked good. Come on, Luca. Nice steal by Giannis. Hits it off to Shea. Shea, oh, he didn't get the jab step. Deep in the slot and just bricks it hard. Wide open shot. 116, he's boosted up to. That 21 boost only takes him up to a 116. And that's part of the problem. Oh, wide open boogie. Hits the midi, three to two. Come on, Shea. Bricks it again, oh my gosh. Simmons gets the board. And, oh geez. Thompson buries the three and we are off to a super rough start. Shea in the corner. Hits it, midi, his foot was on the line, 120 midi. Come on, Luca, do so, oh boy, that, yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, that was a foul. At the last second, Boogie moved right into him. All right, come on, from the wing, Shea, and he hits that one. He tends to hit the, uh, the rim when the ball goes in. You know, it's very few of the nothing but nets. There you go, Luca. There you go. Get it off to Shea. Oh, wow. Nice moves in the paint. He completely turned around Simmons. Took him out of the play. Nice job by Shea Gilgis Alexander going inside. And then they get it back. So easy. No way to defend it. 10 to 7. Oh, boy. Really rough start. Let's go, Nas. He's the better shooter. Boom. Which is weird, having a better shooting center than a 105 center. Nice steal by Luca. Nas finishes it off with a beautiful reverse slam. Uh, but it's tough, you know. I mean, we've we've got a center with better uh, shooting stats at 105. Nice steal by Shea. They're not going to let me say this, are they? Put it in. Hit the rim, but it went in. It's weird having a 105 center with higher shooting stats than your 107 shooting guard. And Naz, I don't know where you were. I don't know where you were, but Boogie was wide open. We're gonna bring Naz down to the wing. He's gonna put this in, boom. All right, let's get it back. Can we hold him in single digits? I kind of doubt it. Yeah, there we go. Whew, 
this one's been uh, this one's been rough. Only a 10 point lead. Now we're gonna have to rely on our guy Shay for the buzzer beater. Jab step, get it off. Boom. Alright, nice buzzer beater by Shay. Uh, you know, not much of a margin, but they scored 24 points. We are playing a good opponent. Uh, win expired, we'll take it. Oh, jeez. Okay, another uh, pretty solid looking uh, multi year lineup, even though it's 110. It's probably really a 111 or a 112, but not really tank. Jab step deep in the slot. Catches the front of the rim, but it goes in. See, that's what scares me with this Shea card. All right, come on, come on. Do something with Fox. There we go. Nice, Luca. Where's our guys? Nice pass to a cut. Naz Reed for the slam. All right, five to zip. Long possession there. Ugh. Thought maybe we had it. We got KD on LeBron. LeBron go crazy in there, and he missed it. Good, good. Naz, back to the wing. Boom. All right, come on, Luca, do something on Fox. Uh, wide open. He missed it. Nice board by Naz Reed. Off to Shea. Jab, jab step and the shot. Well, that was that was an air ball. It didn't even touch the rim. It hit the, the backboard. All right, Naz, let's go. Jeez, come on, Shea. Come on, Shea. I mean, I want my shooting guard to be able to, like, you know, shoot at least 90%. Good rebound by Naz Reed. Gets it off to Shea. Gilgis Alexander in the wing. And it goes in, but it hits the rim on the way. So his shots are, like, always on the verge of not going in. That's the thing here. Oh, boy. Thought we had it. But no... Wide open for LeBron and he buries it. Alright, it was 14 to nothing. Let's uh, let's see how this ends up. Huh. I have a feeling. Patterns, patterns. From the wing, Shea. Nothing but net. Finally. Finally. Alright, 17 to 2. Oh no. You can't leave KD wide open. Where was Giannis? Catch and shoot, Shea puts it down. All right, there we go. We need to get it back, we need to get it back, we need to get it back, come on. Nope, it's not gonna happen. We are gonna get a block, and that's that. Uh, 20 to five, you know, yeah. Right, yeah. Uh, GG to our opponent for winning his drive, though. Playing down. We'll take it. Okay, um, final thoughts. Let's make something clear. I I'm not suggesting that this Shea card is a terrible card or that it's not a card you would want to use in your starting lineup. All I'm suggesting is my experience with this card has been he's pretty inconsistent. And that's just my experience. Your experience could be totally different. His defense was all right. I mean, he got a swipe or two that turned into steals. Naz Reed, you know, I, I thought he played really well. Um, his defense wasn't there, but he has low defensive stats, but he did get boards. And the big thing with this card is he can go inside. And if you like a center that can shoot from the perimeter, uh, well, this is one that can do that. All right, guys, good luck with this promo. Uh, emphasis on the word luck. This is the luck-based promo. I know a lot of people have gotten Shea already, and a lot more will get Shea before this promo is over. So, 
Good luck with this promo. Good luck with all the other content you're working on. And with that, we're done. And as always, peace out.